welcome to another week's vlog. It is actually Wednesday and we are in the bathroom because I'm about to top up my hair again. I don't know if you can see here but like the ends have started to go a bit acidy. Like I keep saying I look like a packet of orange and lime tic tacs because like in in the bright light some of these bits are really green. So I'm gonna quickly slap some of this and I'm not gonna do like an intense full head thing because I don't need to do most of it. Most of it's absolutely fine. It's just these tips. Um, but I suppose I should use the whole pot. We'll see how far I get anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm starting the vlog on Wednesday because Monday <laughs> didn't really do anything edited polarthons last day and then just watched a load of polarthon vlogs and that was really lovely um, and then yesterday I was in a really shit mood so and this evening I have <laughs> rebranded my channel I've made new thumbnails I've made new um intro and outro I've made a new uh, banner I changed my picture um, and I'm really going for this orange thing. Like, I'm really into orange this year. Like, my planner is orange. I decided to dye my hair orange. Um, and my rebrand is almost entirely orange. There's that. I'm excited about it. I hated my branding. The, like, scripty font that I had, I hated. I really did not like. Um, I liked it when I first started using it. But it's just not me anymore, so I'm glad to be rid of that and have something a bit fresher, a bit more me now. So I'm into that. But yeah, I'm gonna slap some hair dye on and um, I will chat with you afterwards. <laughs> what's up I have been shit at vlogging this week I think I vlogged a bit on Wednesday and then I filmed my bath yesterday didn't actually speak to you and it's now uh, half past nine on Friday but I'm here now hello I dyed my hair didn't I yeah it's still green hasn't really made much of a difference so I'm gonna go and get it cut tomorrow and probably have a good a good that much cut off it so the green will still be there but not as much of it so maybe it won't look as shit it's really annoying that this has happened like it didn't do it to start with and in person it doesn't actually look as green as it does on camera it's more yellow like slightly acidy yellow though weird but I've been getting weird compliments on it, which I think is just weird. Like, are you just saying that to be nice because it looks shit, but you can tell that I've dyed it? Interesting. Um, anyway, enough about that. I'm gonna get it cut tomorrow and then maybe throw another pot onto it and see if it helps. Um, but I have a parcel. I came home to a parcel today. Uh, this is from Claire. She <laughs> commented on my video yesterday saying that she was gonna send me something and messaged me on Instagram saying, you know, beware of the slugs. It came actually into the house, so there was no danger of the slugs with this. But thank you so much, Claire. I'm really curious as to what this is. You really did not have to get me anything, but you know you're an absolute angel. Um, so let's have a look. So there's two little books in here. Oh, there was no note though. 
So I'm glad you told me you were sending me something because otherwise I would have had no idea because no note. But thank you so much, Claire. So Claire has sent me Come Tumbling Down by Shauna Maguire. This is now the fifth book in the Wayward, S Wayward Series Children. No, Wayward Children series. Um, I have enjoyed all of them and I'm looking forward to this. These are the like super short novellas about kids that go through doors and then come back and then the series is a bit backwards. Weird but whimsical. I like them. I'm looking forward to reading this so thank you so much Claire um, and we all love a short book to help us with dolls and stuff so yeah. <laughs> thank you! You are ever so kind. Oh I'm, I'm excited about this one. Thank you so much. And then she also sent me the Mask of Arabella by Anna Houghton. Why is that so difficult? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Houghton? I don't know. Um, on the eve of her birthday, Arabella discovers she has a secret power. When angered, flames shoot from her fingertips. Beautiful. <laughs> she runs away only to be rescued by a magical organisation of masked heroes with their own special skills. Arabella and her new friends have sworn to defend Venice. But can they defeat the evil rising from the island of the dead? This just seems like a really fun middle grade about a young girl with magical powers that becomes like a superhero. I think it sounds cool. I'm excited to read that as well. So thank you so much Claire for these random presents. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I More than I can say. So thank you so much. In terms of other news, like reading, I have not done much, but I am planning on chilling out for the rest of this evening and reading The Shadows of Winterspell. I'm going to change into some PJs and comfy clothes because these jeans are feeling quite restrictive at this point. Um, so I'm going to change into some comfy clothes and chill out and read for a bit. It is actually Valentine's Day today and I didn't expect Jake to get me anything, but he got me flowers and chocolate. Bless him. I love him. <laughs> So we have had dinner together and we've watched a bunch of TV and just spent some time together this evening. Um, I'm not really one for sitting and watching TV but that's what he wants to do so that's what we did. Uh, but yeah now he's playing some games so I'm gonna read my book on the sofa in my PJs and snuggle down. Uh, but yeah otherwise I don't really have much to tell you. Um, I have an opticians appointment tomorrow so I've got to get up nice and early to go to that and that's why I'm going to get my hair cut as well. I'm going to be in town anyway to go to the opticians. So I think I might go in earlier than my opticians appointment so that I can get my hair cut beforehand. Um, and the Basically Readathon is happening tomorrow slash tonight after midnight um, for the 15th of February. Um, and I kind of want to participate in that so I'm going to try and read a load because that's normally the plan for readathons and I've slacked on the reading this week just because I've been back at work, been busy. Work has been so freaking busy. There is so much going on in that place at the minute. Hello, it is Saturday. I'm in my car, clearly. Um, I've just been into town to get my eyes tested and get my hair cut. Ta-da! Tried to get rid of as much of the green as possible so you know, it's a bit shorter now. I'm gonna try and soak the tips in more orange. Probably not this weekend because I can't be asked. But at some point, the woman in the hairdresser said that it's not that bad. Just soak it more. What's that? Cool. Awesome. All right. Um, and went to the opticians and discovered I'm short sighted and do need glasses. So I've ordered some glasses. Um, my face will never look the same. Obviously I picked a pair that I liked and I thought suited me, so hopefully they do. You will see them at some point in the coming weeks, whenever they come in. I don't know when they will. But yeah, glasses ordered. Vision will improve. <laughs> he did say, fortunately, you know, you're just about legal to drive with your eyes. Um, I could see the line of text that um, meant I passed the legal requirement to be driving. So I haven't been breaking the law, fortunately, um, but I couldn't see the row below that, so I'm only only just <laughs> legal to drive. Um, it's for like road signs and stuff, isn't it? Because like, otherwise my vision seems fine. But yeah, I'll be getting glasses. He did say I don't have to wear them all the time, but I will notice a 
very clear improvement in my vision, so I will probably want to wear them all the time. Um, so yeah, if they suit me, maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like on my face. And I reckon filming in them will probably be a no-go, because the lights. So like in my vlogs, maybe, but like when I'm doing like setup videos with my lights, I don't know, glare. Um, but we will see what that's all like. We anyway, I'm now going to go home um, and actually get some reading done for the Basically Readathon, which is today. I have decided that I'm not DNFing the Shadows of Winter spell, I'm just really not feeling it right now because I'm so excited about some other things that I'm reading that aren't that. And I'm like nearly 100 pages into it and I'm still feeling a bit just bored when I'm reading it, like my attention is not gripped. Um, so I'm going to have a break. It's my last book on TBR Pursuit, so like I've got the rest of February to read the last 200 pages. It's only like 300 pages long, so that's not really a problem. Um, but I'm going to have a break and read uh, Wonder Smith instead. There's someone walking past the car. It's going to look really weird if she looks in the vehicle. Um, I don't think she did. Yeah, I'm going to read Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend instead. I have not started it yet, but when I get home, my plan is to start it. And I mean, I probably won't be able to read the whole thing today, but maybe read the whole thing this weekend. Don't really have any plans for tomorrow. Do need to do a shit ton of laundry. Hey, so I haven't actually started reading anything yet, but I was just laying on the sofa, like facing the front door, and saw the Amazon guy come up to the door and wedge this parcel through the letterbox whilst like staring at me through the glass in the door. Like it is frosted glass, but like if you put your face right up to it, like I could see his face and he was staring right at me <laughs> whilst like wedging this through the door, making complete eye contact. Therefore, have a parcel. I do not recall ordering anything though, so I thought I would open it on camera because it's roughly book shaped and I don't think I bought anything. So let's see what this is. It's definitely a book. Let's see if there's any notes before I actually like, oh, that's the receipt. Don't want to see what it is. Is there a, here we go. Gift note from Barbara. Enjoy your gift. Just a little thank you for all the great book recommendations. Love your channel. Keep up the great work from Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. It is The Sisters of the Winterwood. I put this on my wish list after Ashley um, linked me to the um, Myth Take master list to see all of the books with some Slavic folklore and stuff in. And this was on that list and I'm really craving more Slavic folklore. So thank you so much, Barbara. I am honestly not too sure what this is about other than the fact that it's got some Slavic folklore in there. It's gonna have some fairy tales in it. Yay. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Barbara. I literally only put this on my wish list the other day. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it more than you could possibly know. The fact that anyone even looks at my wish list and contemplates sending me anything is incredible. So thank you so much for this. Hopefully it will fill a Slavic folklore shaped hole in my life. I should really get on with actually reading Wondersmith now though. Hello, I've changed my mind again. <laughs> it's Sunday, it's just gone midday, got up, had a shower, and have been reading some of Shadows of Winter Spell. I have decided I'm just gonna try and finish this today, just so I have something finished. I'm about halfway now, 143 pages in, which is actually about halfway, because it's just under 300 pages, so lovely. I'm gonna finish that, that's my plan now, um, just so I finish something this week, and then I will have finished TBR Pursuit and can call it a success even though this week I've read like next to fucking nothing <laughs> which is a bit shit but finishing something I'm still not really feeling this all that much but you know I'm halfway I'm curious to know what happens um but I don't feel like this is going to get a very high rating from me and I don't know if it's the book's fault or if I'm just feeling slightly slumpy maybe. Also now I've washed my hair I feel like you can see that I've had it cut a bit more. I still need to put the orange on again but I can't be asked so ignore that. But yeah, nice length. <laughs> um, and I put a poll out on Twitter to say like once I've finished my TBR Pursuit TBR uh, because there's still two weeks left of February um, and I will have read 
six books in the first two weeks of February, should I do like another, just like a mini free February TBR of books that I genuinely just really want to read at the minute, because I have sort of planned out what I want to read in the next couple of weeks. I might do that once I finish this, but the plan right now is to actually go and finish this, so let's go and do that. <laughs> reading my book as you do and the same thing that happened yesterday happened sitting here laying here watching the door and the Amazon delivery guy comes right up to the glass but he had to knock because this parcel was too big to fit through the letterbox again I have not ordered anything and th this is this has been a lot this week <laughs> um I have no idea who this is from so I'm just gonna open it but seriously Thank you so much to whoever is doing this. <laughs> well, that was not satisfying. There we go. Let's see if there's any notes. Who's it from? I don't know. I'm now going to see if there's any notes. Oh, oh, there's two notes. Oh, it's all like printed together. From Bev. I haven't read this, but Snowy Magic and Belarus sound like something you would like. From Bev. Happy reading from Bev. Thank you so much, Bev. You really did not have to. But as there's two notes, I'm going to assume there's two books in here. Oh my god, thank you so much. Okay, what's the top one? I only added this to my wish list like the other day. Thank you so much, Bev. Um, I picked it up in Waterstones and thought, oh, I really want to get more into like the big adult fantasies and how much I love the Great Coats series made me kind of think I need to try more of the like big adult fantasy series, the ones that are potentially a little bit intimidating to me. And then of course um, Becca is doing the elderling along, <laughs> it's fun to say. Um, and I don't reckon I will join in with like reading that when they do because I just can't commit to that. But that also kind of just piqued my interest for this. So this is, of course, The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Not The Assassin's Apprentice, just Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb, which is book one of the Farseer trilogy. And I know it is the book that the Becker's Book Club are starting with. Um, the kingdom of six duchies is on the brink of a civil war when the news breaks that the crown prince has fathered a bastard son and is shamed into abdication. The child's name is Fitz and he is despised. I think it sounds really interesting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna enjoy it and it's not as enormous as I thought it was. Thank you so much for that, Bev. Um, and what is this one? Oh, oh, I've never heard of this. Okay, this one's not off my wish list. You sent me a surprise. Gingerbread by Robert Dinsdale. It's so floppy. Is this the one that's um, Snow, Magic and Belarus? <laughs> In Belarus, a land of endless ancient forests, an orphaned boy must scatter his mother's ashes. His mama has exacted a solemn promise to stay beside and protect grandfather, whatever happens. On their journey into the woodland, hunks of mama's delicious gingerbread sustain the young boy as grandfather's magical tales push the harsh world away but the driving snow makes a frozen history of long buried secrets as man and child forage further grandfather's tales turn to terrible truths of times past fairy tale and history interweave in this magical haunting tale of the lengths a boy must go in order to survive interesting a novel of perfect balance with each turn of the page the atmosphere intensifies yeah you're right there's Snow, magic, Belarus. Interesting. I don't think I've ever read anything with that sort of setting, like Belarus. Oh, thank you so much, Bev. You really did not have to. And I appreciate it more than I can verbalise, more than I can say on camera. I really do. Thank you so much. My February haul is going to be massive, thanks to you guys. Like, you are wild, but I... I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Hello, it is much later on Sunday. 
and I have finished The Shadows of Winterspell by Amy Wilson. Yay, I've actually finished a book this week, woo! <laughs> uh, this week's vlog has probably been really shit because I've like read nothing, done nothing and just been really boring. Um, but I finished it and unfortunately did not love it. I've put it through Core Pile and it's come out at three star. Um, across the board it was very five or six-ish, so like not terrible, just very average to me. Um, it definitely took me by surprise in that it wasn't exactly what I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be about a girl who discovers magic, not about a girl who already knows all about magic and tries to escape it to then go back to it. Like it was not quite what I was expecting and there were some really good scenes in there. There's this one passage that, um, oh god if I could find it that would be great. This one passage on page 234 that I liked. Nobody's got it easy, everybody's fighting, even if it doesn't look like it, even if everything's quiet on the surface, everyone's got a war going on somewhere. Do we all have to shine like the moon just so you can see when something hurts? Nobody knows what they're doing, we're all just trying our best. I liked that. <laughs> and in the scene it was like very impactful. I liked that particular passage. Um, but yeah, three stars on Core Pile. Um, it took me eight days to read that. That's a really long time. <laughs> So yeah, done with that, um, three stars, moving on. That is actually the end of my TBR pursuit for February, so I need to move on to other things, yay! Um, and I think I am going to film a low-key February TBR, like rest of February TBR, um, just as a proper video to go up next week sometime, just to discuss what I want to read in the next couple of weeks. It'll only be a few books, but I put the poll out on Twitter and the answer was yes. Everyone wanted to see that, so I'm gonna do it. Not gonna ask you if you want something and then when you tell me yes, not do it. <laughs> so I'll do that. Um, I don't know if I might start one of those other books today or I... <laughs> You know one of them is going to be Wondersmith because that's what I'm really eager to be reading. So I could read more of that because I am technically a little bit into that because I did start it yesterday. Um, but I'm also thinking I really want to reread Rat Queens Volume 1 so that I can move on with that series because it's been a long time. So I don't know if I might do that. I don't know. We will find out what I decide to do. But before I do that, I am going to film that little February mini TBR. So I'm gonna get on with that and I will talk to you a bit later on. Video filmed, camera battery flashing. Jake wants to watch the last couple of episodes of Sex Education because we only have two episodes left of that so we're gonna go and do that now. Um, and the night is still relatively young, it's only half past seven so um, feeling pretty good about stuff. Well. <laughs> I am here to wrap up this vlog. I have had a very successful day. I edited all of that video, made the thumbnails for that video and this vlog because I've also edited all of this vlog up to this point. So uh, today I have finished a book. Me and Jake watched the last two episodes of Sex Education, so finished that, filmed a video, edited a video, edited the vlog, made the thumbnails for the video and the vlog. So I'm calling this a success. Hooray. Um, as for the end of sex education, like, oh, fuck that dude. If you know, you know. Fuck that dude. Also just really curious to see what is gonna go on with everyone else because like there's so much to resolve there. <laughs> um, but I'm already excited about the next season which is gonna be like next year. Yay! <laughs> so long to wait but yeah uh so anyway successful day um i am wrapping this up now and i'm again uh, then i'm gonna add this clip on and go to bed so thanks for watching somehow this vlog ended up being pretty lengthy not sure how that happened because i basically did nothing so if you've made it this far thanks <laughs> congratulations um gold star for you <laughs> um but yeah, I hope you've had fun with me and I will see you in next week's vlog. <laughs> Bye!